Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. 2018 Fireballs here, back with another MLB 9 Innings 22 video. And before I get into today's video, guys, I can't tell you how excited I am for this video, guys. So, looking at my lineup, as you all know, my lineup is pretty good. I have a lot of good cards for almost every position, except for my catcher and second baseman. And then my pitching is pretty good as well. But my second base position is really, really weak with this Dustin Pedroia. Just not the greatest second base card. And he hasn't been in the game for a while, and the only other good second baseman around is Kike Hernandez. But let me tell you, the live update just dropped about two days ago. And looking at this Wish Player pack, if we take a look at the Boston Red Sox and the second base option, here you have Trevor Story on steroids. And I'm going to be opening up this pack today, guys. He's going to be player of the month this, this month, and his stats are going to be crazy. Now, I hear a lot of you saying now, Fireballs, don't do it. It's a live wish player pack. You should wait till the end of the season. But I overtalked this with Ben R., um, also known as Pooper Scoopers, in the game, and he told me it would be best if I got this card now. He's going to get the player of the month bonus. He has 94 base power. He is the best hitting card in the game right now. And the Red Sox have no second baseman other than Kike Hernandez. And Kike Hernandez is pretty good with great increased distribution. But right now, this Trevor story is just out of this world. It's on another level. And I'll be opening that up today. And I really can't wait to get into it and start skilling him, upgrading him, training him. And I'm going to let you guys know, for my other teams, I'll be saving the Wish Player Packs for my Houston team, Blue Jays team and my Dodgers team, unless somebody gets player of the month. What Pooper Scoopers or Ben R told me was, if that player is gonna get player of the month and has boosted stats, it's worth getting it from the Live Wish player pack because when you roll skills on him, he won't get anything lower than bronze skills. He only gets silver and gold skills, plus he gets the bonus, and, and, and plus that additional bonus for the team, as well as um, high stats already. So that's my reasoning for opening up the Wish player pack. Also, one more thing before I get into the bulk of this video, I do have this Ralph Kiner that I will be great increasing today, and I also have almost enough Black Diamond pieces to bring Bruce Hurst to, to uh, Black Diamond level. He is my worst starting pitcher by far that's not a Black Diamond, and he just gives up a lot of home runs, and it's kind of annoying. So let me go know you guys, should I Black Diamond Bruce Hurst first, or should I get Ralph Kiner to Black Diamond first? I will also be posting a poll so you guys can vote there, but in this video I would like to see you guys comment down below who do you think I should Black Diamond first and why. I'm leaning more towards Kiner so I can get batter's chemistry, uh, but Bruce Hurst is a hole in my rotation that needs to get fixed. Anyway, let's get into the meat of this video. We have packs today, we'll op be opening up that Live Wish player pack as you all know. We'll be doing 30 silver player packs, and I haven't seen a Prime in a couple videos, so uh, Team Prime would be nice even though I really don't need any unless they are, uh, unless it is a Kevin Euclid. So silver player packs still have a, a ton of them. Uh, nothing so far out of any of them. Sir Anthony Dominguez is back in the game. Uh, just watch Greenbeard's YouTube video. If you guys haven't already, go ahead and check out his channel. I believe I have a link to his channel in my description box. Uh, he just made a great video and got an awesome skill set on one of his legends. And yeah, he makes great MLB 9 innings content. We'll be doing 100 premium player packs, seeing if we can get any diamonds. Uh, I've never pulled a legend out of a normal premium player pack or normal, normal pack on this team. So that would be amazing if I could as we pull this one diamond. Marcus Simeon, 2018, currently playing for the Texas Rangers right now. Not doing so hot. Um, honestly, looks like a bust for the Texas Rangers with that deal they signed him to. But... Uh, he has had bad seasons in the past before, so we'll see how he turns out. I believe this is 50 or 40 premium player packs. Uh, let me just double check how much space we have left. Uh, we'll do 50 more. Yeah, we should be good with 50 more. Alright, as we pull another diamond right there. So, two times we pulled all silvers and one diamond. There's a Vasquez 2016. I do have his 
19 diamond right now, but I do anticipate hopefully pulling a SIG in the future. I also did buy green tickets for this video, guys. My Eduardo Rodriguez has Control Master and two other not so good skills. But the thing is, the skill set that I have on him is a 2 1 1 skill set. It's a low skill set with Control Master, but I'm going to op I'm going to open up um, the possibility of me rolling greens on him just because I want to get his card uh, better than Boss Dom that I currently have on him. I believe that's over 100 player premium player. Actually, we can do we could do 10 more. We'll do 10 more. Uh, but like I was saying, uh, I want to just get my Eduardo Rodriguez finished, and then once I black diamond my next card, whether that be Kiner or Hurst, I want to be able to use the premium skill change tickets on them. Control Master is a really good skill already, one of the top tier uh, endgame skill sets for any pitcher, uh, just that it's low levels, but I'm willing to at least try to get one good skill along with Control Master, uh, just so I can make him a better card boss dom doesn't work that well so that's my plan with him let's do 10 ultimate player packs as we get a diamond right there only one diamond so no primes again so uh we do get a vintage though and a paul goldschmidt uh my theory right now guys is that i'm not pulling primes because i've been saving my prime player packs and i'll be doing that for all my teams uh pretty much until uh they add new primes in the game that will be good for any of my teams right now, I have a lot of the primes that, um, for all my teams, my Red Sox, I have a lot of the team primes. Houston Astros, it's more of the case where they have team primes. I don't have all of them, but most of the team primes are, are cards that are, are that are already in the game. And I, the only card I really need is Billy Wagner. I already have Morgan Ensberg at Diamond. So I'm just hoping they add a new more primes soon. They haven't had a new, uh, new primes in a little while. Let's open this live season diamond pack. If we pull Trevor Story from this, I will not be using the Wish Player pack. But uh, chances are really low. If we pull a live Red Sox, that'd be good. Also, the Red Sox have been raking in this past month. JD Martinez, just every single... Wow, that's a really good live card. I'll probably keep that just to see how his stats pan out. But JD Martinez, uh, if let me just show you guys all these Red Sox cards. They're insane. Uh, Trevor Story, you saw seen already, 94 base power. Bogarts, uh, it's not so great, but it's still a good card. Devers, insanely high contact. Uh, Kike Hernandez, not so great, but if you look at JD Martinez, 86 base contact. I believe he's currently leading the league in batting average, somewhere around 360, uh, 350 right now. So JD Martinez is just absolutely raking at the plate. Now, let's do this. Live Diamond Wish Player Pack. Come to us did say they were going to add player of the month bonuses uh in the next update which should be coming on the 7th so trevor story 2022 boston let's do this even if he doesn't do good at the end of the year i hope he turns out better than pedroia i'm hoping for good skills here and a good grade increase there we go good grade increase man that's a beautiful card and looking at the skills Prediction and Laser Beam, he came with a Bronze skill, but he's not with a Player of the Month bonus yet. So we will be skill changing him once he does get the Player of the Month bonus, so he doesn't get uh, any Bronze skills. So I'm going to throw him in the lineup and just see how he is without even training. I'm going to show you guys. Uh, taking him out for Dustin Pedroia, he's already at a 104 overall. 76 base card, 130 power. He doesn't even have training yet. Look at this, guys. This is insane. Insane, not the greatest skill set yet, but 30 power, 130 power, no training, no special training, just team set deck bonus. I'm hyped, guys. I'm super excited to get this card leveled up. Oh, man, I have upgrade tickets that I'll be using on him just because I can't really wait. I have 14 upgrade tickets, uh, so I'll be using those. If you were also wondering, I do have these 29 premium vintage player packs that I did mean to open up on a double mileage but i wasn't able to upload a video then but we'll be saving them for another time ralph kiner 20 out of 20 levels uh yeah let's just not make the mistake of choosing a different card he's going to be diamond we'll probably take him to black diamond eventually and he'll be replacing brock holt 69 grade increase let's see if he came with any skills 
All right. And, oh, he's not a pitcher. And there he is. So skill set, batting machine, table setter, heavy hitter. Uh, nothing great right there. So we'll also not be skill changing him just because... Let me know, guys. Do I black diamond him? I don't want to waste skill changes on him if he's not going to have a skill set for long. Uh, I really want to get batter's chemistry on him. Uh, I know I've, I've been saying, okay, I've been contradicting myself a little bit. I will be replacing Brock Holt, but if I do get batter's chemistry on Kiner, I will be putting him on my bench. And then Brock Holt will either get replaced by another signature outfielder, or if I end up pulling another legend, who, who knows at this point. But anyways, I did buy one of the packs um, with the green and blue tickets. They finally had them on sale. I will be buying more later down the line once I do get enough black diamond pieces. Um... Or after this video just off camera i just wanted to give give you guys a little bit of content with this so control masters at level four that's because i've been leaving him in the lineup but let's protect control master looking for just one good gold skill uh i don't really care about the second skill because it's not going to be able to get maxed all right so nothing on the first one and nothing on the second one come on i want to see at least one gold skill man okay this is not looking good Okay, there's one gold skill. Untouchable. Uh, I'll take that. Untouchable is okay with me. I'll take that up to... What you call it? Level 8. And he will... I'll probably have to readjust his train too. Since he's uh, towards a dominant pitcher train. But I'm okay with untouchable. Let me know what you guys think about this skill set. I think it's okay. Control Master. Honestly, Control Master by itself has been doing really well for me. Better than boss dominant pitcher, um, not better, but on par with boss and dominant pitcher. But that's going to pretty much do it for this video, guys. If you do in, uh, enjoy, uh, please leave a like down below. I will be posting on social media about this uh, Trevor Story trains and upgrades and what I do get on him on my Instagram. Uh, so go ahead and check that out in the description box below. And then go ahead and check out my Reddit. I, I post there uh, pretty frequently memes and a bunch of other funny things about MLB 9 innings. And let me know, guys, once again, if you want me to do Black Diamond on Ralph Kiner or should I do Bruce Hurst. Uh, but with all that said, uh, don't forget to leave a comment down below and like the video and subscribe, like I've said. And I will see you all in the next video.